Hi, I'd like to walk you through some of the updates I've made to version 1.0.8. First of all, great news, nothing that I've done, but wanted to share with you that starting with the Obsidian mobile version 0.0.18, Xcolitron now works uh, fantastic on the mobile device, so I uh, encourage you to give it a try. This update includes some quality of life improvements and a major update with full uh, templater support uh, through Xcolitron Automate. So first about the quality of life improvements. I have now added a context menu to File Explorer and you can create new drawings that way. So let me just come here to my stuff folder and I'll just click create new drawing and with that I have a new drawing that I can edit and uh, so that's just another way of getting uh, drawings into your vault. Then second I've added uh, this uh, comment to the common palette to embed the most recently edited drawing. So if I come to my daily notes and I bring up the common palette and I choose embed then here I can choose uh, this command and if I just click this then you see that indeed the most recently uh, updated drawing uh, is automatically embedded so that's an easy way to uh, do this. Now the next uh, update is uh, that here uh, that I automatically update file links in Transclusion. So what do I mean here? If you look at this, I have this file link right here. If, uh, let me just open this drawing on the side and let me just give this a title, uh, diamond. And uh, you can see that the file name is automatically updated. Also, a great uh, new feature is as I draw here, uh, if I unfocus this drawing then the uh, preview in the embedded documents uh, automatically updates so that uh, makes it easier to see the outcome of your drawing uh, in your uh, documents and uh, then the next one uh, is something that is maybe uh, less uh, visible but if I click here delete file then now actually the file gets deleted which is great it didn't work like this before uh, but so that's a fix uh, same if I would now click to well not now but if I uh, create a new drawing and uh, I would now close uh, obsidian uh, then uh, this drawing now gets properly saved a while before uh, that uh, was not the case. And then uh, also I fixed a positioning issue uh, with uh, the drawing when using the sliding panes uh, plugin. Again, it's more of a bug fix, but I think quite uh, useful. And then let's just talk about Xcolidro Automate, uh, my templater support. And what this gives you is ultimate flexibility over your templates uh, using templater. And so if I click on this link and let me just bring up that web page, I have a detailed uh, help or walkthrough of how to use it. I'm not going to uh, walk you through all of uh, the text here right now um, but uh, you can see that the basic logic of how uh, this uh, solution works is uh, you uh, create uh, or you use this object uh, Xcolitor Automate uh, in your template and then uh, you have uh, a whole bunch of uh, functions and styling control to uh, create your drawing. So I have two simple examples here and let me just demonstrate it to you in a second. The first one uh, is uh, an example that gives you control over the file name, the folder name, uh, the template path you want to use 
uh, of a new drawing. So let me come back to uh, Obsidian and show you how this works. So I have uh, this template here, uh, insert template with custom naming. And so this will create a folder with the year, month, date. Actually, these are subfolders and the file is going to be named based on the hour and the minute. And I'm going to use my template one, which is this white template with a box in the middle uh, as uh, the template. And so if I now come here and I execute uh, this template using templater, then you can see that my file was created here with this file name and using this template. I think this is a, a very useful feature if you want to use multiple templates or if you want to go beyond what's available in settings. And then uh, you can also do more complex uh, examples and I'm not going to uh, walk you through uh, all the different examples. You can go ahead and read them uh, on this link but uh, I just want to show you this uh, uh, more complex example where I have this uh, tabulated outline and I have a template or script, the mind map builder, which converts this outline into a mind map. And I think that is actually uh, quite cool. Uh, in terms of a feature and I, I think it gives you uh, significant control and flexibility in how you use uh, Xcolid Draw. And with that, uh, this is all the updates that uh, I've uh, made in this version. Uh, I am aware of some issues, some minor issues with the mobile, so my plan is that in the next update I'm going to address those. There's an issue with the stylus uh, when you open the command palette uh, during drawing on your mobile and uh, there's also an issue in terms of saving your drawing if you just uh, close the obsidian task uh, uh, force close it then uh, the drawing doesn't get saved so those I'm working on uh, but other, otherwise I would like to again just encourage you to uh, give Xcolitraw on your mobile a try. I think it's uh, working really great. Thank you.